Really excited today. Um, you see Rebia's new guitar. Um, obviously, we're incredibly excited and proud of it. And, and uh, this guitar started about a year and a half ago, a conversation between a great mutual friend and, and Tosin Abasi hooked us up. A couple of great dinners, uh, Mutual Admiration Society for, for great guitars. And, and uh, yeah, Rebia doesn't need a huge introduction. Uh, he's got amazing taste in shoes, can do kick flips, ollies, all the above. And one of the best creators in the world. We're so lucky to have him and part of the family. And Rebia, take it away. Introducing Rebia Massad. Hello. Thank you very much for coming down to, to watch me play with my new guitar. Uh, goes without saying that I'm uh, incredibly honored and proud uh, to be a part of the Ernie Ball Music Man family. And of course, these two guitars are insane. I'm really, really happy. And uh, yeah, just thank you to Brian and everyone, Drew, Tim, uh, Derek, Robert, everyone at Ernie Ball for having me and believing in me as an artist. And just feel very proud. So I'm gonna say less and play more. Here's another tune.
Thank you. It's really warm. I'm sweaty. I'm sorry. Um, I guess I'll tell you really briefly about the guitar, um, what it's made from, and the kind of components and everything. So it's a Sabre, which is their kind of like double cut modern thing. And I wanted to, uh, I felt like for me it was the most kind of me model, uh, or the one that kind of speaks to me the most in the range. Uh, so yeah, what did we do? We, we changed quite a bit about it. So it, at its core, it's a Sabre, but at the same time, we added contouring like this, this arm carved here, because for me, I like to have smoother edge for my arm, especially when I'm digging in uh, on the road and stuff. Uh, it's nice to feel a bit closer to me. Uh, we added like a spoon cut on the front and we recessed the heel like a lot on the back because I've got really big hands and for me to get up to the 22nd fret, I found that if I take away some wood, if we took away some wood, it would be a little bit more forgiving for me and my, my big mitts. Um, what else did we do? We made the neck bigger. We made the neck quite a bit bigger uh, because I, I like a fat neck. I like a... <laughs> I like a nice chod of wood under the hands when I'm playing. So, uh, yeah, that's what we, we did. We made it quite a bit bigger. But the cool thing was actually unplanned, which was that I said to Drew, um, is there any way that we can make it sort of fatter up here if I'm playing like riffs and stuff, and then like a little bit thinner up here if I'm playing lead? Which apparently, I had no idea, but apparently that's kind of not normal, or at least I, I think it's not normal. But for me, it kind of made sense. It's probably a good thing that I know nothing about you know, the intricacies of guitar design on a deep level because, you know, it seems simple in my head, but in any case, it's made for a really nice feeling neck and that's one of the things on this guitar I love the most is the neck, um, the rolled edges and the finishing of it just feel really good. Uh, we've got two of my bare knuckle silo humbuckers in there that I just love these pickups. I think they sound amazing. So it, was, it goes without saying we had to put them in the guitar, but we added a push-push which splits down the coils individually but the cool thing with the wiring inside is that you still get full access to positions two three and four which are like outer coil inner coil both coils together so you can have it exclusively split split if you want those two but then you still get full range of the pickup switch which is great and we changed the bridge took inspiration from the uh the bridge from the jp15 one i really like that bridge it's lower profile less under the palm um and yeah, and then in terms of the finishes, I mean, they're almost both identical except for this one has a, an ebony fretboard and a bird's eye maple neck. And this one has a flamed uh, uh, neck and fretboard, both baked. Um, and it's a different color with an ebony fretboard, but the inlays, really like the donut inlays. And then of course, the names of the colors had to be really important because I'm a massive fan of Dark Souls, Elden Ring, From Software video games. So we called this one Vile Blood, after Bloodborne, because it's like one of the best games in the world. And this one is Frenzied Flame. If anyone plays Elden Ring, they'll know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, th those are the guitars. I've got one more tune to play, and then I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your Nam experience. Thank you. 